Chapter 5. Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Has there ever been a time when you really thought something was right, but later you realized it was really wrong? What caused you to change your mind? Maybe you learned something new that gave you a different perspective. Maybe you just made a mistake and you didn't notice it until someone else pointed it out. Here's the point. Many things that we take for granted today, like our ideas about what is fair and unfair, weren't always that way. Take the phrase, all men are created equal, for example. We understand that to mean all people, men and women, all humans are created equal and should be given equal opportunities to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But back in the 1800s, those ideas sounded very new and strange. And to some people, maybe even a little scary. Picture, if you will, one particular set of informed citizens, the Sisters Grimke, spreading their message of slavery's abolition wherever a crowd would gather. They crusaded for the freedom of all men. But in a twist of cruel anger, they themselves would be denied the liberty they preached. Where can such a place exist? For those brave enough to explore, you'll find out when you read today's chapter. But be warned, you'll be entering the inequality zone. First, you'll learn about why women were fighting for equal rights in the 1800s. Well, the simple answer is they didn't have equal rights with men. Here are just a few examples. They lacked educational opportunity. They often didn't go to school for as long as a man did. Even when they did have a job outside the home, they didn't get paid as much as men. They weren't allowed to own property. Even if a girl had been given property by her parents, when she got married, it legally became her husband's. They could go to meetings and listen and learn, but they were never allowed to share their opinions. They weren't allowed to speak in public at all. In all of these ways, it was kind of like... No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Men were saying... You can't, can't, can't. Women were saying... Yes, I can, can, can. to review. Pause the video and read the chapter, then come back and let's see what you've learned. This is a great way to prepare to do the independent work as part of this Google Classroom assignment. The phrase that means the freedoms and legal protections guaranteed to all citizens is equal rights. What were women not allowed to do at meetings, public meetings, for example, temperance or abolitionist meetings? They weren't allowed to speak. They could listen. They could learn. But they weren't allowed to speak. A what is a formal gathering of people for a purpose? A convention. And we'll read in the next chapter how women called for a convention to discuss these issues and try to make changes or reforms. See you next time for another history hook.